Ackley Bridge star Sunitra Sarkar on her childhood, I loved being the only Asian girl at my school. Sunitra Sarkar is stuck in traffic. She's on her way over from the This Morning studio with a face covered in TV grade makeup and a belly full of stifled yawns from her early start. The rain, which started a few hours ago, shows no sign of letting up, and the streets of London are gridlocked with black cabs and pedestrians battling umbrellas. When she finally arrives at the Soho townhouse where we're meeting, she quickly warms up her hands by clutching a mug of builder's tea to her chest. Jesus! She says as the wind howls against the window panes and rain clatters the glass like handfuls of gravel. Is this June? Bring back April. I don't know what to do with myself in this weather. We're here today because the former Brookside Child star is back in her old Channel 4 primetime slot, almost two decades after she first dominated our evening viewing there. But the new show, Ackley Bridge, couldn't be more different. Set in Halifax, the program shows the comedy and chaos that ensues when a predominantly Muslim secondary school is merged with a working class wide one. It's very contemporary, and it's very much needed right now, says Sunitra. I can't speak for the Muslim community, because I'm not a Muslim, but so much of the dialogue we hear is negative and about a lack of integration. There isn't an awareness that there's a huge integrated community that works really well in Britain, and has a lot to offer. Things haven't run completely smoothly, the first episode which originally featured a plot involving a fake suicide bomb, was deemed bad taste after the Manchester Arena attack, and there was a mad rush to reshoot the episode, with the cast and writers working around the clock. There are a lot of arguments at the moment about how to tackle Islamic extremism with every attack that goes on, there's another group of people who are very black and white about it, says Sunitra. But we shouldn't group people together. Most white people don't feel they're anything to do with the EDL or the National Front and there are so many colors within a color. Sunidra herself was raised in a Hindu family in Liverpool, the daughter of a GP father and her mother, an Indian classical dancer. She admits as a teenager she kicked back against her parents' religion by sneakily drinking cups of hot bhavra, beef is forbidden in Hinduism. In Ackley Bridge, there are scenes of racial baiting, but this isn't something Sunitra struggled with at school. Her parents, big on education, sent her to an all-girls convent school. I was the only Asian girl at school and I loved it, she says. I think I enjoyed it because nobody not the nuns, not the girls ever made me feel like I shouldn't enjoy it. When I got older, I'd use humor as armor, batting anything away with jokes. If anyone ever shouted peeky I'd say, where, where? And pretend to look round. I'd make the jokes before anyone else did and I'd try to find something to make them see the real me. Humor is certainly a tool Sunitra has mastered over the years. Although the roles she's most famous for Think Casualty and Broad Church have been of a predominantly serious nature, her new character Kaneza in Ackley Bridge has many of the show's best gags. I loved the part straight away, she explains. The fun lines don't often get given to an Asian woman, but here's a woman who is Pakistani, Muslim and working class, explained Sunitra. She's full of spirit and substance. I turn down a lot of Asian roles, because they're stereotypical and secondary the quiet lady in the back of the news agents, or the mum who never talks. Sunitra's come full circle since she started out on Brookside back then, she says, 
she couldn't act to save her life. Aged 15, Brookie's casting director spotted her waiting for a bus, a serendipitous moment that set her life spinning on an entirely different trajectory. At that age, she was convinced she'd grow up to be a candy floss seller, while her dad was holding out for another doctor in the family. In a strange back-to-front sort of way, Dr. Sarker got his wish when Sunitra landed the role of Dr. Zoe Hanna in Casualty. Poor dad, all those years when he'd given up hope that his daughter might follow in his footsteps, laughs Sunitra, and then I rang him at the age of 30 and said, Dad, I'm going to play a doctor and a more senior doctor than you. He had a lot to say about a woman performing surgery while wearing high heels. Let me tell you. They are still a close-knit family, one that Sunitra has added to with her own muddled, chaotic, but overwhelmingly happy branch. When Sunitra split from her stonemason husband Nick six years ago, the couple worked hard to remain friends. They now share child care of their 12-year-old son Noah. He gets the best of both worlds, half the week with his dad and half with his mom, and we each get to focus a lot of time and energy on him, while each is still maintaining our careers," explained Sunitra. That balance has been a positive that I hadn't imagined before the split. Plus, Noah's grown up with a busy working mom, so we'll hopefully have a feminist inside him without realizing it. Sunidra has been with her new partner, Scott, for five years, but they first dated at university when they were the Ross and Rachel of their friendship circle. They lost touch and both went on to marry other people. But they met again at a reunion, and Sunidra knew there was still something there. He's incredible, I feel so lucky, she says. In fact, I think we both feel like we're the lucky one. Add Scott's two sons to the mix who, at 12 and 15, are the perfect playmates for Noah and the family get on brilliantly. When the three boys are together we just don't see them, they're off doing their thing, she says with a smile. Without realizing it, I've found myself in such a fortuitous situation. The most important thing is being friends first everyone. The kids, the grown-ups, the exes. Life's too short for anything else, and the kids grow up so fast. As Ackley Bridge reaches its third week, Sunitra has high hopes for the show. There are so many areas of the country where people don't have any contact with anyone from other races, she says. But this drama shows just how similar we all are. Everyone falls in love, everybody has their heart broken when you see it on both sides, it shows the connection between people rather than the division. A white girl and a brown girl can be having the exact same thoughts at the same time, even if they think they should be rivals. And with that, Sunitra's off to bring a ray of sunshine to a rainy day. How does Sunitra spend her Sunday? weekend away or stay at home? I like a little trip, anywhere that involves sun and a massage, maybe even a little bit of yoga. Because I'm such a busy bee, going away means I can actually switch off and relax. Lazy lie in or up with the lark? I have such a busy schedule and my day often starts at 6 a.m. On Strictly we'd be in makeup by 4 or 5 a.m. When I'm working I'm very professional about being up early, but when I have a day off I love a lie in. Hungover or fresh as a daisy? I've never been a big drinker it's probably because I spend so much time talking. I'm a standing joke among my friends. Sunday lunch at home or pub roast? 
I've become a lot better at cooking since I left casualty. I'm cooking more curries now too, calling my mum for recipes all the time. People expect you to know how to cook Indian food I was in a scene where I had to make a chapati, but I was clueless and just stood there. What couldn't you get through the weekend without? Music. I'll have Kiss FM on for the classics, but I love a bit of soul too. If a really good oldie comes on I might even dance around the kitchen. How did you spend last Sunday? It was Noah's birthday party, so I was dropping a group of 12-year-old boys back after a sleepover. Then my friend Jane Hazelgrove, from Casualty, came over with her wife for a cuppa. Jim or Lazy Day? I'm trying to do more gym days now, but it's hard. I always leave feeling smug it's the getting there that is tough. Ackley Bridge is on Channel 4, Wednesdays, 8 p.m.